Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right, so we have a uh, Gemini sun, Gemini moon, and as well Gemini rising on our hands. And uh, hold on a second, guys, to shuffle the cards and we're going to jump right into it. Right, so uh, first one we have for you at the start of the week, Gemini, that will be the King of Wands, uh, followed by uh, the Nine of Wands that we do have here. Furthermore, that is to be the Five of Cups. Afterwards, that will be the Three of Swords. And the last one for you guys, we have the Seven of Swords, just like that. Those five cards. So, at the start of the week with the King of Wands, uh, that is where a person steps up for you. Now that is that could be somebody that you just met or it could be somebody that you already know. But this uh, this individual, they uh, the King of Wands, they are a very famous or infamous, um, depending on how they play out into your uh, into your routine here. With their positive attitude okay this is these these people they do like to enjoy life in all of its forms so they like to go out partying they also like to have beverage they like for example sex as well and in general they always kind of like try to extract the most out of life as possible now also they are can i say They are very, they are, oh my God, so, so their bar is very high. What I mean is that they always aim to expand on their capabilities and as well their boundaries. That being said, I do suspect that this person is going to come up to you with a very, very ambitious proposition, goal, or a, uh, in generally, <clears throat> a very ambitious act of a cooperation that you can either accept or uh, of course you can decline. Uh, you need to know that when the King of Wands comes about with such kind of a proposition in your life, uh, they do have a pretty good idea and plan as well how to transform that proposition in a very, or, or the ambition, the agenda in a very powerful and effective actions as well. Now, if that's a business proposition, uh, of course, it's going to aim a very, very high and you need to have the, um, the determination to keep up with it. For, as I said, it will be pretty, pretty ambitious. But if we're talking about kind of like romantic interaction that this person is going to step up with towards you, uh, then you need to know that they do like challenges. You need to be something that they never experienced before. Okay, you in general you gotta be uh, you gotta play hard to get kind of a thing here with the King of Wands because that is how they kind of like um, take it as a um, as an ambitious project on their behalf. And yeah, they are all up for the challenge here. So if you do want to make a cooperation with that individual, you also have to be up for the challenge as well or to be the challenge. Okay, that's the, that's the whole thing here of how you enthrall the King of Wands. And right after that, we do have the Nine of Wands. And right after this individual steps up, 
for you, uh, you will have to kind of like realign your, uh, your routine, your life, your career, or your uh, personal, personal cycle, personal circle, personal environment for them to fit in. Here with the nine of wands, we do have from the, um, from the start up until the middle of the week, kind of like a, um, a process of conscious changes that are to take place. And under conscious changes, I mean changes that you have a total control on, like reshuffling your to-go list, like um, uh, as well changing up um, times and frames as well of uh, of your responsibilities when they need when they need to take place hell it could also refer as well to that you are to re uh, rearrange your desk at work such kind of a, a changes that you have like i said a total control or on them but the nine of wands as well not within this uh, arthur weight deck but into the top deck which is which its creator alistair crowley you can see the nine of wands being described there, there is a bridge in between the sun and the moon and that is the bind in between the male and the female beginning the male and the female prime and that's why this uh, from the mid to uh, from the start to the middle of the week it's, it's going to be a very how can i say um a favorable time for you to make the opposite gender um <clears throat> this individual that came up with that came that the week came up with okay and to make a bind in between each other now what how deep that bind is going to be that depends entirely up to up to you like i said you have a total control over the changes that can take place and should take place should you want this individual to take a significant in substantial part if you will uh into your life one last thing i want to say here it is that you gotta be a bit careful and patient, patient as well, because these changes that you are to undertake, they need to be merely perfect uh, or nearly perfect. I'm sorry, because these changes are preparing you for some kind of a storm that it is approaching, and if you jump unprepared for that storm, you are kind of like risking to go or to charge toward your own uh, toward your own destruction in this particular field that this week it's unfolding for you or the destruction of the relationship with this individual king of wands and right after that at the middle of the week we do have the five of cups and this is the realization that uh you know things not always go goes as planned for the five of cups refers to disappointments certain losses as well that you may have uh, but <clears throat> In your case, Gemini, those losses or disappointments are to be really exaggerated from your imagination. That is because if you do observe the card here, we do have the person staring and being uh, attentive or rather like uh, pretty stuck with the cups that are spilled out on the floor or on the ground here, oblivious to those that are still standing up. So you may fall into a desperation or in a state where you think that everything is lost while there is still what can be salvaged into that relationship in between you and the King of Wands. Even there may be nothing to be salvaged. I mean, things could go really uh, well, it is just your expectations are way too exaggerated, if I may say that way. And that's why you have the false impression that you are losing something and that disappoints you. And it's pretty much you fall into either a depression or a desperation, which is something you should not do at that particular point, middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday. So what is the best possible approach here with the five of cups? You just have to keep up going. You should not deviate from the original goal or the agenda, which is the cooperation here with the King of Wands that showed up. And right after that, we do have the Three of Swords, and that is the healing process uh, of these thoughts that you have, thoughts of loss and thoughts of disappointment here. This is the healing losses where, uh, this is the healing process, I'm sorry, where the uh, negative thoughts of those losses and disappointments, you strive 
to not allow, allow them anymore to twist and tangle in your mind so you're not finding yourself lost into the situation and, and lost into your life in general. Um, instead, what you are going to do is lay down the cards or your hand, all of it, and uh, this, not discover, but kind of like put the reality or the truth, no matter how ugly the truth is about the interaction in between you and that King of Wands on the platter, on the table here. So everybody knows how one stands, everybody knows how one is accepted, everybody knows how far that thing, either a business endeavor or a romantic relationship, can go forward. Here, um, from the mid up until uh, up until the end of the week, there are to be really, um, uh, let's say uncomfortable, but in the same time productive conversations about what you like, what you dislike as well, the other person will say the same. There could be a fair share of criticism as well, mental cruelty, you know, things have been said in a very um, hurtful manner. So you can make a take, so you can make a note of them and not to repeat that, you know, something you do that it is hurting the other person and they are saying it like it is the end of the world. So you end up really devastated, but it will be a pretty short span of time that you feel devastated. Then you uh, kind of like get yourself up off the ground and try to fix that through the conscious changes that are given to you here into the week. So it's a kind of like a process of alignment that uh, you're going to have with the King of Wands. Like I said, because they do keep up a really um, high pace and the strive is beyond the boundaries that you have set as a career or relationship up until this point. And I do believe that the, the, the healing process here of those disappointments and losses is going to be um, successful. That is because towards the end of the week for you, uh, Gemini, we do have the Seven of uh, Swords. And at the end of the week, you are going to find yourself self standing your ground, stepping for your rights, showing a very strong backbone with readiness to storm the situations, no matter what the situations is, but above, uh, are, are, I'm sorry, so no matter what the situations are, but above everything else, you're also going to find yourself being um, purged from any... Um, any, any weak points that may uh, put you in a situation where you find yourself deceived, not just only by somebody else, but above everything else, but, your, uh, but yourself, okay? By yourself, I'm sorry. So above everything else, by yourself. And that's why I do believe that here towards the end of the week, you actually have a full picture of how the thing stands and you have learned whatever lessons you had to learn throughout the week, so you can align with that King of Wands. And from there, you both are gonna have uh, your thing, your individual thing, but also the cumulative thing in between you two. May that be a business or may that be a relationship as well, where, where none of you is going to trespass the boundaries that the other one set, okay? Because you do have your life, you do have your relationship life as well. You do have your personal life. You do have your business endeavor. And right after that, with the seven of uh, with the seven of swords, guys, I do believe, and I'm I'm certain of it. In fact, that the agenda is reachable because that's all that the seven of swords is about. That you establish the path of toward your agenda or the rules, the stipulations, whatever, toward your agenda, that the agenda is fulfilled the way that suits you best. That's why you are stepping for your rights here. You're showing strong backbone and you're saying, this is how it's going to be for me. You're either going by it or there is the door. And uh, it, will be, um, it will be acceptable. So that being said, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.